The Russian Ukraine war has taken a new turn on social media as a young boy has drafted himself on the Ukraine Ukrainian side. The 19 year old boy named Jack Sweden has vow, vowed to use a Twitter account he created to expose the location of private jets owned by powerful Russian eggheads, popularly called oligarchs. Sweeney had previously tracked the location of a private jet owned by Tesla founder Elon Musk. He has now turned his attention on the powerful Russian oligarchs who wield considerable influence. The dedicated Twitter account is a, at a real RU oligarchs jet created for Sweeney's avowed purpose has received at least 140,000 followers as of the time of writing this, he says he uses boats to detect aircraft data, Sweeney says. Before this, he said, I didn't even know there were these influential oligarchs like this. They probably do have a decent amount of power from what I can understand. The aircraft these oligarchs have are absolutely crazy. Their planes are huge compared to other jets. He has successfully tracked a private jet belonging to Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich, mainly online reports. The information released on the Twitter handle indicated that the aircraft took off near Moscow, Oblast, Russia on Monday, February 28th. Well, meanwhile, Legit NG has previously reported that Jack Sweeney had earlier now tracks the whereabouts of a private jet owned by tesla founder elon musk the richest man in the world most later offered much later offered the boy the sum of two million whatever to delete the twitter account but he declined the offer is it two million naira or two million dollar mm -hmm. the deletes to delete the account, Sweeney demanded the sum of 20... Is it 20 million Naira? I don't, even, I don't know what this person is talking about. Hmm. Did, they, did they deal in Naira? Well, maybe that is the equivalent of a, what a, is being... is being offered. Maybe for Nigerians to understand that. Well, people are doing tremendous things. Anyway. <laughs> well, the same boy that has been tracking Elon Musk air, aircraft... What have this individual private jet got to do with the standoff with the warring countries? Have they been using their private jets to attack Ukraine? No. It's just an illustration that if he could do this, if he could do that, he has been doing it. It kind of giving the background of what the boy has been doing. Okay. Why should he allow himself to be exposed? That's a good, very good question. Hmm, I thought about that too. You know, they will tell you, say, oh, if not Niger now, Africa now, they'll say, oh, no, one which could go after you. But they believe that uh, that place is a free and open place. Why he was busy using Twitter to expose Russian jets, Ukrainian historic headquarters has been hit with bombs. And our own future leaders are busy following politicians and shouting fire, fire in the churches. Okay. Why expose the young man? People say, hey, uh, nobody, he, he, I think he exposed himself. Why put his face out there? You see the same guy who is tracking Elon Musk. Oh, his life is at jeopardy. Nigeria is more worse than those countries at war. Give us real story. I feel for this boy life, rich and powerful men can be very deadly. Of course, they can and they can. The 19 year old boy should be able to track and detect when they will send a drone or a letter bomb to a to take him out. The simple man should um, not enjoy his life because his country is fighting in Ukraine. When the US bombed too many countries, we can't even mention which news you see US billionaires being traced. I am tired of this. Ukrainian and a uh, Russian war is something else. Nigeria war is far greater than Russia and Ukrainian war. Attention should also be focused 
how he buys Boko Haram bandits. Of course, how many times we don't talk about those ones? We don't talk, 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 talk. They don't say they will expose uh, the sponsors of this uh, Boko Haram. See, today, now so would a year. After one month again, they will release another statement. After two months again, they will release another statement. They are, that is what they are going to be doing on this channel. And how many times has Malami come out to tell us that uh, the sponsors of Boko Haram, ah, they know them, they have done this. After everything, we didn't hear again. The next person that came out, like Mohammed, he said, ah, everything is said. Very soon. They know them already. They know they're already, but they are not ready to say anything. Now, Erufa is singing a lo lost song now, singing a different song, different tune. I don't understand. Concerning this same Boko Haram and Bandit, and yet the government cannot do anything about it. Playing to the gallery that say, oh, they have they have uh, planted a lot of a uh, a uh, a uh, whatever bombs here and there to strike, and don't think will be done about it. Oh, they are not telling people you have to be careful. You have to be watching your environment. You have to be watching anybody who say who has a, a strange face not today. So we've talked about all those things. All to no avail. All to no avail. Oh, mm. Police brutality and so many things that have happened that we should talk about our own problem and look for solution. For where? We which solution? <laughs> are you not in this country? Okay, well, the one that they have been talking, we solutions. Even when people are offer solutions, did they take it? Well, the same guy Elon Musk has been trying to please with his Tesla car to stop tracking his account, telling people his whereabouts, but he rejected it. <laughs> Abramovich is not the first. First, this boy is tracking. Ask Elon Musk, he will tell you. This war will soon end because they know what the enemy is, uh, who the enemy is, and they can talk. But Nigeria war is far from being over because we are fighting on familiar and unseen forces god please help nigeria you see from nigeria efcc will come after him make una tell him to calm down make you know go put nigeria for trouble hmm? <laughs> trouble for trouble let him help us expose nigeria greedy politicians your life is in danger young man so his Twitter cannot track Boko Haram bandits and corrupt whereabouts and corruptions whereabouts trouble the like bicycle. You know the use for at all. Eh? Ah, because I don't know, this this boy is a is not a it's not in Nigeria now, so we don't even know why the contradiction. So guys, let's say your opinion on this. Do you think his life is at stake? Or is risking his life. Let us know in the comment section. Thank you very, very much.